SDG 6 Clean Water and Sanitation Ensure access to water and sanitation for all. Access to potable water, sanitation, and hygiene is the most fundamental human requirement for health and well-being. Billions of people will be without access to these fundamental services by 2030 unless development is quadrupled. Water demand is increasing as a result of fast population expansion, urbanization, and increased water requirements in agriculture, industry, and energy. The recent acute water shortage reported in City Bangalore of Karnataka State of India is prime example of importance of water in our lives with millions of lives affected in Tier 1 city due to mismanagement. The demand for water has exceeded population growth and half of the world's population already faces severe water scarcity at least once a year. As global temperatures rise due to climate change, water shortage is expected to increase. Investments in infrastructure and sanitation facilities, protection and restoration of water-related ecosystems, and hygiene education are some of the initiatives required to enable universal access to safe and inexpensive water by 2030, and improving water use efficiency is one method to alleviating water stress. There are total eight targets in this goal. Let us now see the eight targets to ensure access to water and sanitation for all. 6.1 by 2030, achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all. 6.2 by 2030, achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and end open defecation, paying special attention to the needs of women and girls and those in vulnerable situations. 6.3 by 2030, improve water quality by reducing pollution, Eliminating dumping and minimizing release of hazardous chemicals and materials, halving the proportion of untreated wastewater and substantially increasing recycling and safe reuse globally. 6.4 by 2030, substantially increase water use efficiency across all sectors and ensure sustainable withdrawals and supply of fresh water to address water scarcity and substantially reduce the number of people suffering from water scarcity. 6.5 by 2030, implement integrated water resources management at all levels, including through transboundary cooperation as appropriate. 6.6 .6 by 2020, protect and restore water-related ecosystems, including mountains, forests, wetlands, rivers, aquifers and lakes. 6.0 by 2030, Expand international cooperation and capacity building support to developing countries in water and sanitation related activities and programs, including water harvesting, desalination, water efficiency, wastewater treatment, recycling, and reuse technologies. 6. Be support and strengthen the participation of local communities in improving water and sanitation management. Let us now see the global scenario with the global progress on SDG 6 as per Sustainable Development Report showcasing that significant challenges remain across globe with water. Check the link in description. Let us see Niti Aayog report of SDG India Index. As per India's think tank Niti Aayog's SDG India Index for various states and UTs are shown in figure here categorizing states and UTs in four different categories of achiever, front-runner, performer and aspirant. These are indicator list for India's target and achievement so far let us know your thoughts on these and discuss with your friends how substantial improvements can be made in the lagging indicators. Access to water, sanitation, and hygiene is considered a human right. To get back on track, key strategies include increasing sector-wide investment and capacity building, promoting innovation and evidence-based action, improving cross-sectoral coordination, and adopting a more integrated approach to water management. Water is crucial for health, poverty reduction, food security, peace, human rights, ecosystems, and education. Countries continue to face difficulties relating to water scarcity, pollution, ecological degradation, and transboundary cooperation. 
Providing sustainable water and sanitation services is crucial for mitigating climate change in the future. Improving infrastructure and management is crucial to prevent water-related diseases like malaria and diarrhea, as well as reducing biodiversity and ecosystem resilience. This will undermine progress towards sustainability. Civil society organizations should hold governments accountable, invest in water research and development, and advocate for the participation of women, youth, and indigenous populations in water resource governance. Raising awareness and taking action on these roles can result in positive outcomes for both humans and the environment. Let us pledge to preserve water for one and all. Comment below what steps are you taking to save water.